Today I want to talk about a huge word that keeps coming up in today's society, unfortunately, especially in light of what's happening in the world. We're seeing a lot of kids coming in, uh, new patients, not old patients who we've been empowering for years, but new ones coming in that are having a lot of trouble uh, with the word fear, right? There's a lot of fear going on. So what is fear? You know, I've got my definition that I teach my kids and that we talk about, and then there's the uh, society's definition of fear. And fear, by definition, is an unpleasant emotion caused by a belief that someone or something is dangerous and likely to cause you pain or threat. Now, a key word in that is believe, right? So we've talked about belief before. And it's really a belief is what you're going to let anchor to your brain, to something that you're going to truly give substance to, that you're going to find truth in, and you're going to allow it to live inside your house, your proverbial mind. My definition of fear is fantasized experiences appearing real. Fantasized experiences appearing real. Fear. So what does that mean? There's a lot of times there's things we're afraid of because our perception of it comes from something or someone around us that puts this definition definition or belief in our head, and perhaps we saw a parent afraid of it, uh, a teacher afraid of it, a friend afraid of it, and now we think we're supposed to be afraid of it, right? Unless we truly have the experience of something that we are fearful of, we may not even know what that experience is, and it's all perception, which becomes a belief, which can be a good thing or a bad thing. Listen, there's things in life that we should truly be fearful of, you know? So if I've got someone running after me with a baseball bat, or i got a truck running me down on a highway, or someone pulls a gun on me, I'm going to have some fear, right? And fear could be good because it's going to make me think quick, react quick, and all my preparation up to that moment is going to help me react and overcome and adapt so I don't get killed, I don't get hurt, and I don't feel pain. So this is why we always want to be training in life and, and living to our fullest potential. But when we look at what's happening in society with fear, when I think back on fear, what was I afraid of as a child? I put myself in these young kids' shoes now that are living in 2021, and I hear the conversations I'm having in the office with little kids with anxiety, depression, tons of fear, which fear brings on all these things. You know, the anxiety and depression can't exist without fear. Fear is like something's just unknown. You don't know. You don't have control over it. You've got this belief anchored into you. Now it creates anxiety. Blood pressure goes up. You just get anxious. Don't know why. And then you just get run down and that turns into depression. So it's like planting that little seed of fear that grows into anxiety, that grows into depression. So when I look at kids now, they're, you know, and I compare myself at the same age, we'll call it nine, 10 years old, what I was experiencing in the world, my most fearful thing became sharks, sharks. And you know where that came from? We would in the summers, we would go out to the Hamptons and into the ocean and the ocean was absolutely beautiful. And I had this raft that I would swim on. We would go out and one side of it was blue and the other side of it was red. And we would float out what seemed like 100, 200 yards in the ocean and just play all day and have fun, stand on the thing, jump off, ride the waves. We would boogie board. We had a blast. And then as a family, we went to see this new movie that came out called Jaws. If you haven't seen Jaws, go watch it. It is terrifying for me. And there's a scene in there where there's a young kid, a little boy, kind of looked like me, on a raft. One side's blue, one side's red, and he's floating around, and here comes Jaws. And they got the music da -na, da -na, da -na, in the background, and I shit myself. And I'm like, ever since then, I've been fearful of sharks. To this day, and it's over 40 years later. You know, there was a couple of years ago, I was going to do a triathlon in Miami with a bunch of my friends, and I was going to do the swim portion. It was a big, big triathlon. Another buddy was going to do the bike. Another buddy was going to do the uh, run. And a friend of mine from down there said, oh, my brother goes uh, boogie boarding and surfing down there all the time. You know, there's a lot of sharks there. They have shark sightings every week in this area. And I got that feeling of fear. And I turned around and I dropped out of the triathlon. And they were making fun of me and they were saying, come on, it's no big deal. What are the odds? And I said, you know what? The odds are greater for me because I put a wetsuit on and I'm going to look like that big wounded seal floundering in the water, swimming for over a mile. I'm going to back out. My fear overcame me. And, I, you know, part of me regrets it to this day. 
But the fear of Jaws that I saw as a young kid, and people will say, what are the odds? I could still go in the ocean today, and I see a shadow, and I get that visceral reaction. My blood pressure goes up, and I try to look cool, and I get out of the water. But, you know, listen, I keep telling myself, maybe I'll do a cage dive with a shark. I don't know. I'm not promising you. I'm not challenging myself. I'm not going to. I don't want to have a damn heart attack underwater because I see a shark coming at me and I think of Jaws and he was ripping apart these cages and boats. But now we look at these kids growing up and I see them running around and they've got to get their temperature taken everywhere they go. They're wearing these little blue masks and all you see is their little eyes behind the mask. And I'm thinking, at what point is this fear of the environment going to be removed from them? Because the viruses and bacteria is ever going away. And the answer is no. There's billions of them floating around. We're breathing in every single day. And the belief and faith in the matter is, is your body has the wisdom to fight these things off. And I get it. There's been a lot of suffering with people, what's been going on in the current element. But at the end of the day, when are we going to build strength within our children to trust the wisdom of their body and not live in fear? I don't know how some families are going to turn it around because these kids carry it over from their parents. And the conversations they hear in the backseat of the car, at the dinner table, they can hear mom on the phone with a friend, living in fear, talking fear, bashing people, uh, scared of the environment. Etc. Etc. We know the whole story, gang. But at the end of the day, we got to start having the faith and create a belief system of hope and understanding our body's wisdom of strength and not live in fear. So we're all going to have fears. We all got to understand that there's fears of the matter and the things going on. And there's certain things that I believe we're healthy to be fearful of. Certain viruses, sick people, stay away from them. Keep yourself healthy. Keep your family protected. But we don't want fear to overrun us where it becomes anxiety, depression, and runs us down. So a fear of a shark, I think that's an honest fear. Do I need to overcome it? Maybe. Now that I brought it to fruition, I probably will have to. But uh, a big ass white shark coming after me in the water, I know I can't outswim that thing. That could be a dark day in paradise. So listen, write down your fears and understand that we can look at it as a, a as a an emotion that's going to cast itself in our body and, and anchor itself, or it's in a fantasy. Maybe it's just a fantasy. Maybe it's something that was created by a conversation we heard or an experience that someone that was close to us went through. And it doesn't have to be our fantasy. It doesn't have to be our belief and it doesn't have to be our fear. Conquer your fear.